Okay, you are for next. Look, I want to show you about this bio-advanced 3-in-1 insect disease and mite control, guys. It's for trees, shrubs, roses, and flowers, guys. This is going to work miracles. Simply screw it onto the water hose, skid it all over your bushes. But you need to inspect your bushes, guys, because I know you, a lot of you are worried about the grass, but some of you have forgotten, forgotten about your shrubs. All right, guys, some of you guys, you, you see these spots right here. You see where the bugs have chewed through the leaves and stuff and you can even sometimes catch them hanging around they'll try to hide but you'll see them hiding in these areas like this with all the berries and stuff that okay guys right if you look closely i don't want to touch it because they tend to fly away but it's some some in there let me see if i can get in there they'll probably fly away but you see them those babies right there they camping out right now guys but when they're real active, guys, it's a lot of road slugs and all kinds of stuff. Look at this damage right here, guys. Look at this damage. Sometimes you have to really look. Now, this some of this is not where the bugs are eating it. It's just where I'm taking that head trim and the blade has damaged it. But you can see it could be powdery mildew. Look at these right here. Look at these leaf spots right here, guys. All of these are funguses and stuff, guys. And lawn and not lawn plant diseases and sometimes you got to look at the back of them but what i want to show you is how to prevent or cure stuff like this from happening all right guys welcome back to bermuda grass central and guys i know we've been worried about all those funguses and all that hot weather but people are neglecting their bushes and shrubs and what i want to show you is that bio advanced three in one guys this is so easy to apply guys really it's just screw it onto the hose Spray it all over your bushes, let it soak in. It's gonna do three things. It's called it's a three in one. It's gonna kill the current bugs. And it kills bugs like um, aphids, spider mites, um, I'm trying to think, Japanese beetles, and a few more other bugs. Um, as far as diseases on the plant, it's gonna cure or prevent black spot, powdery mildew, uh, rust disease, and a few more, guys. So. One of the issues is people run around and they try to figure out every disease. Guys, when you buy stuff like this, most of the time it's going to come with the formula that's needed to take care of your smaller problems right here. Spray this on there and see what kind of reaction you get. But I've been using this for years and I've been getting great results. Guys, I want to go over a couple of things before I start. Won't take but a second. Guys, please don't click away. If you clicked on the video to learn how to use it, why are you watching 10 seconds and clicking away? You gotta watch the entire video to get all the knowledge. Guys, before you buy this, I want you to look at this. You see that meter right down the side? Now, when you lay this flat, it should be filled all the way up to the tip top. When you're in the store and if it's laying flat and you see it like this, don't buy it. Sometimes these products come and they don't fill the bottle all the way up. So guys, I want you to get all i think it's 32 ounces of your chemical right here guys ladies if you got sh flowers shrubs this and roses in particular this stuff works on it it works on house plants also but you got to bring the house plants house plants outside before you start spraying this on your house plants and you need to let it dry before you take the house plants back on the inside okay guys here's another tip when you're treating your bushes spray a like, I'm gonna start there because I'm taking my holes back this way. So start over there and then finish going towards the faucet. Okay, Yard Fanatics, look, before we start this, I just wanna let you see the bottle. Make sure you do this before you do it. Shake it up real good. Flip it upside down if you got to, shake it up. Now I got my Quick Connect system on here, but I wanna show you something before I actually connect it. <clears throat> now guys, when you get this, make sure, I don't know if you can see down in there, but there is, a gasket a black gasket down in there make sure that's in there before you leave the store don't leave the store without getting the one that has that rubber gasket in there you can see it probably now okay guys I got my uh, quick connect and my shut off valve and all that good stuff guys I'm gonna link a video at the end of this video in the description of that video it shows you how to get this and that right there but look shut off valve all right Simply pull that back. See, I pull that back. Plug that in. Let it go. Turn my valve on. Water still not on because I got to turn that right there. All right, guys. I got my shut off valve off. I don't have it on. 
that's on, that's off. But the reason I like to have it off in these quick connects, because it's real easy to push this tab. Now, to activate this, I want you to pay close attention. Pull the tab back, twist it down. All right, now I got my shut off valve on here. If I didn't, it would be skeeting out now, but look. So with the shut off valve, I can cut it on and off at will. Okay, y'all, for next, when you're spraying this, guys, best to start at the top, work your way down. Don't spray it when it's windy because you don't want this to blow back in your face. This formula is not for the lawn, guys. If you want to see that, stay around to the end of the video. I'll link a video. You can click on that lawn video, all right? But you just basically, you just spray it on there. Look, one thing I see people do wrong is you got to get up under the leaves also. So I drag this hose a little As bit. As you're spraying it, you'll see bugs flying away, guys. I'll let you see that right there. It's a little residue but not a lot of residue. But that's gonna help kill off some of those bugs and start protecting the shrub. Let's finish the rest. You can see that meter going down right there. And it, it kind of goes down quick, guys. Kind of goes down quick, so don't spend a lot of time on one area guys but you got to cover the whole entire shrub look up there see how i'm getting that going way up top kind of raining it down on those taller shrubs okay guys bio advanced insect disease and mite control i'll leave a link in the description guys and what's great guys you don't have to use up all the bottle because you feel like you need to. If you got something left over, leave it. And I'm going to tell you okay, why. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you why. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these updates will be available on my Instagram channel, guys. So make sure you just go ahead, scan that little yellow bubble going to pop up. Click on it. Subscribe to the Instagram. But the reason, if you have something left over, guys, if you read the bottle, it says it's only going to kill for about 14 days on the insects. All right. So in another 14 days, you come back and do it again. Real easy, I know guys will be complaining, oh, that's just too much work. Guys, hook it up to the water hose and just spray it. It's not that hard. That literally, if I hadn't have been recording, would have took me five minutes at most. All right, guys, if this video has been informational and you learned something, you really, really learned something, click that subscription button, ring that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube. Guys, hit that like button right now, but look, I know you like that video, but look, I'm finna take it up a notch. Now this right here, guys, treats for a whole year of insect control and feeds the shrub or the hedges or the bushes. Click on that link up in the other corner, guys, if you wanna watch this video right here, and I'll show you how to do it with the liquid or the grain. You're tuning into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman up next, and I'll talk to you soon.